Good afternoon, everyone, and um, begin by thanking the integrity agencies for their important work. And as the government's demonstrating today, we are not shying away from the findings of the report. We are apologising for the conduct that um, any members of the government have been involved in. And importantly, we are committing to the largest overhaul of integrity system uh, in the country. Um, there is a good, set of, a good set of recommendations in the report. All 21 will be supported by the government. But as the Premier has indicated, this is about the whole parliament, about Victorians' expectations of their representatives. And therefore, um, there is a good starting point, an ethics committee, a bipartisan, multi-party membership involving of an ethics committee which will be asked to help further develop the recommendations in the report because the recommendations go to the function of the parliament, the function of MPs more broadly and I'm very positive of uh, bipartisan support for these reforms. As leader of the government in the upper house um, it is uh, common practice for me to deal with multi-parties and I know that this is something that many members of parliament will be interested in. I must say majority of MPs, particularly um, as has been identified in the report, are there for the right reasons, are there for the public good. So I know there'll be a lot of MPs that are really interested in making sure that the structures, the governments, the accountability and the oversight is improved to ensure that those of us that are doing the right thing can be assured that everyone is in the parliament is doing the same thing. So we will start very quickly in bringing together uh, that ethics committee, which can then progress a lot of the other reforms that have been put to um, put to us from this important report today. Just before we go to questions, I think proof of that approach and, and the likelihood that there will be cross-party and bipartisan support for these reforms is the fact, I think it's in the release, but I, don't, I want to make special mention of this, the Integrity Commission, uh, or Integrity Commissioner, as is recommended by the agencies, uh, won't just be there to uh, investigate, to, to recommend sanctions, they have significant powers, they have significant resources. Uh, they won't just be there for the purposes of uh, public funds or inappropriate behaviour of that nature only. Uh, you would all know that the presiding officers uh, and a, a multi-party uh, committee, a working group, has been working for some time uh, on a framework and a structure uh, for instances where there were, might be bullying, uh, harassment, sexual misconduct, for instance. We've seen uh, some behaviour, particularly out of Canberra, that calls us to do more and do better as a parliament. Uh, and we will, as a result of that work, and I thank all of those involved in that work, uh, we will fold that function into this new Integrity Commission role uh, as put forward by the integrity agencies today. So it is, it's more than possible. In fact, there's an example of exactly that approach working in the best interests of of this as a workplace uh, and indeed the best interests of the Victorian community with that sense of confidence that people are acting appropriately as they should.